Hi, this is Danielle with Blue Moon Estate Sales from Northwest Houston, and I'm coming to you from Bentwater today to show you this great house we have this weekend. So just keep in mind that we are in Bentwater and this is a gated community. So you do have to make a reservation or a appointment, I should say, for the sale. And that is just so I can have your name at the gate attendant. Um, so you can choose a time with the Calendly and then make an appointment that way. So as we enter the house, you'll see in the entryway, we have this nice little entry hutch and lamp some decor. This house is fully furnished. Um, we had to move the love seat up here and this is a um, like a reclining love seat. As we go into the living room, this is actually the dining table that we had to move again so we have room for our register and checkout. But this dining table actually has four leaves with it so it gets very large and there are six chairs. It also comes with table pads as well. Over here on the side, we have a lot of our crystal and glassware. We have this really pretty red ruby glasses. We've had these before and they always sell very quickly. We also have this beautiful Waterford bowl and other various crystal and decor pieces. Here at the fireplace you can see we have a really nice fireplace screen, some decorative candle holders and then up here more decorative items. There are lots of collectibles in this house starting with this Hummel collection. So this is two of the stormy weather. Most of these Hummels are from the 1950-ish, 1960-ish period. So that gives you some kind of idea of the markings on them. Some more collectibles, a few precious moments. Over on this table, we have our gnomes. These are also made by Goebel, the same company that makes um, Hummel. Really cute. They all are doing a different task and they all have different names. Really cute. Gnomes have become so popular now. We have multiple sets of china. This is a really nice neutral Nortaki pattern. It's a rather large set. It also has serving pieces. And then we have this little tea set. And I don't know if you can see it in the video, but these cups are like iridescent on the inside. They're very pretty. Here's a second china set. This is a little rose pattern. Also with some serving pieces. Another tea set. This one is a little dainty rose pattern. This is so cute. A lot of people buy these for their little granddaughters to have tea. And then we have another tea set. This is a more Asian influence. This one actually is from, um, I believe it's from Japan. Yep, made in occupied Japan. And then we have another Nortaki China set in the back here. Some more collectibles and figurines. These birds are the Andrea, several of those. And then there is also the Danbury Mint birds. This one's the Winter Jewel. This one's really pretty with the four birds. 
So there's various different ones of those. We have two sets of uh, silver plated flatware. Some more figurines. Couch and some artwork. And this is one of those recliners, these electric lift recliner with the remote. And so this, uh, you can lift all the way to a standing position. These are really great, especially if you have, um, you know, someone in your family that has trouble getting up and down out of chairs. And this chair is virtually brand new. It has little to no wear on it. It's a great find. Okay, let's head into the kitchen. So in the eating area, we have this cute little round glass table with four chairs. This is also where we have some electronics, some small electronics, iPods, uh, Kindle, readers, little TV, little LCD mini TV back there. And then this is a really cool set, this vintage uh, uh, erector set. And look at all of the pieces, they're metal. And it's in its original box here. It's a really cool set. Lots of Life magazines. These are, uh, most of them are from the 70s. And then we have some 45s. We do have some full LPs in another room I'll show you. And then over here we have some musical instruments. There are uh, three clarinets and uh, a saxophone. Let's see if I can open all oh, the cases. Kind of stuck, let's see. Sorry, I should have had this open before I came in. We have this vintage saxophone. Okay, heading into the main kitchen on the island here. We have a lot of cut glass serving pieces, little luncheonette set with cups. I like this little bookcase here. It's real slim and skinny. This is a great one for like all your recipe books and stuff if you wanna put it in the kitchen. And then we have more erector set pieces. Okay, heading into the kitchen, we have several different sets of mugs. I love those colored mugs. They're so bright and happy in the morning and they're a nice big size, which I really like a big mug. A set of red stoneware. And then we have more mugs and bowls up here. Some pots and pans. Turn around on the island here. We have some sterling silver candlestick holders. They're weighted. Some of these cups are plastic, so they're great for outside or on the patio. I love this Texas serving board. over here. I think I skipped the pantry. The pantry is where we like to put some of our cooking items and some small appliances. <coughs> okay, over here in the buffet, we have a lot more decorative pieces. I love this white. If you can see on the edge of it, it's like white with clear really pretty in person. There's several pieces of that. And then these crystal goblets. Let's step out here to the patio.
This is a covered patio, so all this furniture has been kept under uh, cover, so it's not, you know, um, weather rot or faded from the sun. We have a couple baker's racks. Some garden items. Some rocking patio chairs, a lounger, glider. This is a really cool piece. There's lots of decorative items on here, but you can also put plants. It's really nice. Some more plastic ware, and then another baker's rack. Okay, we're gonna head into the I guess this is another living room or a study. You see we have another baker's rack. This one has little baskets on it. Chair. There's a couch and this coffee table with drawers. In front of it there is uh, lots of records, a record collection. Some little side tables and another chair with an ottoman. Flat screen TV. Lots of CDs and DVDs. Books. We have some novels and we also have a lot of uh, vintage older books. Some of these up here. Lots of games. And then this takes us into the master bedroom. So in the master bedroom, we have this adjustable bed with iron frame. This is a Serta Perfect Sleeper. You can see the remote there on the bed. Glass coffee table. So we go around the room, so there's an armoire, a chair, and over here another side chair, and this little side table has golfers painted on it, it's pretty cute. I love this big gold mirror behind. The shape of it is really pretty. Wing back chair, dresser. In the bathroom here is where we have all of our linens, different bathroom items, a stool. And then in the closet, there are men's clothes few women's clothing items, some jackets, tablecloths, this vintage wedding dress. This would be beautiful, like a photo shoot, you know, out in nature that everybody's liking to do, especially like if you had a little girl. It actually cinches up in the back as well to get pretty tight. So some more clothes and shoes, blankets, things like this. Okay, as we head out to the garage, we're gonna go through the laundry room here. We have lots of picture frames and closet full of cleaning supplies and this shark vacuum. Light bulbs, candles, Lots of good stuff here, and then we'll head out to the garage. Christmas tree. We have this white cabinet and the things in it, but the cabinet itself is for sale as well. 
This is one of two wheelchairs that we have. These are in pretty good condition as well. Actually, this one's in really great condition. It's almost brand new. Some fishing poles. Over here, we've got some hand tools and some hardware. This folding uh, drafting table gets pretty big when it folds out, but then you can store it real small, which is nice. This is a vintage high chair and then a more traditional high chair next to it. I'm just gonna go down the rows here. So some decor items, lots of seashells, lots and lots of seashells. And look at these sand dollars. They're all in perfect condition. Craft supplies. We have a few Christmas decorations. This vintage trunk needs some love, but it's really got some good character and could be a really nice piece. Kenmore Grill. And then over here, we have this little microscope and this uh, projector. This is an eight millimeter projector old movie projector. And then to go along with this is the screen. And then another projector. We have some yard tools. Some more medical supplies. This is a walker, two different ones. And then some more yard shop bag. And this is the second wheelchair. Okay, we're gonna head to the last two bedrooms in the house. So this bedroom has some nice little furniture pieces. That rustic shelf end table, some chairs, a wood desk. Let me take a picture of the side of it. This is pretty cute. It's a good size too. Not too big, but just big enough. Some TV trays, a dresser, two different dressers, a tall one and a longer one. A small TV stand and then a bigger TV stand with a TV and some electronics. And then in this bedroom, we have another desk, also about the same size but different style. This one has a shiny glass type top. You see the end of it there. Lots of craft materials. Sewing supplies. This niche sewing machine. The case. And then more Vintage electronics, cameras, a couple record players, typewriter. 
So again, our sale is going to be this Friday and Saturday, Friday from 9 to 3, Saturday from 9 to 2. Please go online and click the link to make an appointment so that I can put your name at the gate attendant because this is a gated community and you do need to have your name at the gate in order to go through. Only one name per carload is needed. It's not really how many people are coming. It's just so they can let you through the neighborhood. So we hope to see you this weekend at our first sale this year.